Not what you want to hear on a holiday weekend when a lot of people are at the beach. Maybe you're watching from there now. A great white shark sighting reported off the coast of Alabama. Kimber Collins is at the digital alert desk. Kimber, a lot of people being at the beach is probably why this is one of the top stories on WKRG.com today. Yeah, I don't think anyone wants a Jaws moment today, Cherish, but let me start by saying this shark is not new. This specific shark has been tracked off the Gulf Coast for years. So O-Shirts has been tracking this young adult shark since 2018. It was first spotted off the coast of Nova Scotia, but check it out. The latest ping was right here off the coast of Gulf Shores. Now, it's only been pinged three times in the Gulf of Mexico, and there's no explanation as to why the shark comes here. O-Search says the shark is 533 pounds and nearly 10 feet long. Ooh. Now, you can follow this creature along. We have the tracking website linked to the story online. That's why I don't go deeper in the Gulf, deeper than my ankles. If I can't see my feet, I'm out too far. Yeah, and while out on the waves today, remember the water is home to many creatures like sharks. A 14 year old Hawaii boy, he survived a shark bite while surfing earlier this month, and he's already wanting to get back out on the water. He says, Ooh. even though there are lots of sharks where he is, the water is their home. This kid got more than 100 stitches and what a trooper. This was the first shark attack at North Beach recorded in history. So it is rare and a tip for surfers. If anyone sees a shark in the water, respect it, leave the water and surf another day. Yeah, he's right. That's their house. Absolutely. I've been saying it for years. So what county on the Gulf Coast has the most excessive drinkers? The University of Wisconsin did a county by county breakdown breakdown showing lifestyle and health trends for our area. Alabama is doing better than Florida. Mobile County sits at 17%, Baldwin at 19. In Northwest Florida, it seems Santa Rosa County has the heaviest drinkers with 23%. But this study nationally shows more drinkers live up north than in the southern states. And you can see the full map from a link on our website. So Kimber, what classifies excessive? Yeah, so doctors say excessive drinking is five or more drinks per occasion for men and four or more drinks per occasion for women. Lawmakers in Washington are pushing for a fourth and a fifth round of stimulus checks, but it would face many hurdles. Seven Democrats on the House Ways and Means Committee sent a letter to the president this month. In that letter, there was no mention on how much the checks could be, but that they could keep an additional 12 million people out of poverty. This is not the first mention of more direct payments to Americans, but the White House has given no stance on the subject. A lot of people are hoping that it does happen, though. I've seen both sides of that fence, absolutely. Well-known hat brand Stetson will no longer sell at a Nashville store after the owner was caught in a controversial social media post. The owner of Hat Works was seen wearing a yellow star sticker that resembles the star of David. That post made Friday to Instagram has since been deleted. The update today, the owner made an apology post to Instagram. It reads in part, in no way did I intend to trivialize the star of David or disrespect what happens to millions of people. My intent was not to exploit or make a profit. I sincerely apologize for any insensitivity. And this is just one of those reminders. Again, I've said it multiple times. Be careful what you post on social media. But hey, if it goes viral, please let me know. Cherish, those are today's online headlines. Every, I hope everyone has a very safe Memorial Day. Thanks, Kimber.